All right, the game up by six. It's the possible playoff match. Man, Freak's got a dirty little secret, dude. <laughs> he is a, a murderer. Did not expect that. Most definitely did not expect that. Didn't mean to pass that. I mean, I did mean to pass that because I hit the pass button. But I didn't want to pass that because it was supposed to be a screen, and now they're going to score off of it. Yeah. Call timeout? Of course. All right, I'm actually going to try to be a lot more aggressive with the ball. Well, fade away. Yes, sir. Be a lot more aggressive with the ball. I want points. I want to hit double digits in points. It's been a long time coming. It's been freaking frustrating. All right, let's go. Using my teammate, using my teammate as a shield, baby. Double move into a score. Yeah, much better. Oh, now D Rose is in. What's up? What's up? You made it through an entire season. No, no, no. stop being so aggressive. There's my assist. Let's go. Throw it down court. Defensive rebound, Mayo. Dish it and misses it. <laughs> there you go, Mayo. Let's get that screen on. Oh, there you go. Hit me, hit me for three. Oh, rimmed out slightly late, B minus. That was a good good look, just missed it. Oh, Brooks is back in, okay. So I pretty much guard Brooks anytime. When Derek Rose is out, I'm coming in. <laughs> that seems to be what it is. All right, just playing a little off, playing a little off. Yeah, oh, I got the, I got the foul. Good foul, yeah, good foul, that was me, that was all me. No, let's do this. Smart play. Oh, I mishandled it. Stug picked it up. How did I not? How do you not make that? I'm a professional basketball player and I can't make a layup standing underneath the basket. Really? Hello, anybody? Hello. I'm just gonna stand over here, out of the way. Out of the way. Just standing here. Good spacing. I did my part. Stay out of the play, apparently. That's what I'm supposed to do on every play. Just pass the ball to somebody else and then move out of the way. Subbed in at point guard. I got a massive boost when I got subbed in, too, for my, for my stats. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll stop screening nobody. I'll stop screening to nobody. I could take that kind of shot. It's super frustrating. Point guard, don't touch the ball on offense. Makes sense, right? Kind of, what kind of point guard touches the ball on offense? That kind of gets rebounds every play. There you go. There you go, Parker. Thank you. I saw you cutting to the basket. Double move leading to a score. I got my first assist in like four games. Oh, not not one on one with Derrick Rose, please. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna be embarrassing. I know I made fun of you earlier, but don't don't make me look silly. Over here, over here. Mayo wide open for three. Oh, what's this? I was going to get that rebound, too. Nobody even tried to block me. No way. Good shot, defense. Personal foul. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Me? Yeah, right. That's good defense. Come on, Vasquez. Right here, buddy. Right here, please. Please. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Just throw me the, throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. I'm going to get you double team. Yeah, I'm going to shoot that. Dead gum. You just stand there. Throw me the freaking ball. I want points. It's garbage time for me. Four points again. At least I'm consistently getting four points. And nothing else. Two for five shooting. Three rebounds, two assists. But when you only play like 30 seconds at a time, it sucks. But we got, what, one more game left? Or is that the last game? I don't remember. I think one more game left. Let's see if there's anything special after the end of this one. Cece. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. My pleasure. Freak. Great game last night. That's what I do, right? Indeed, have a seat. Pagnotti. How you doing? Thought you'd be selling used cars by now. Funny, comedian. I thought you would have invested in some new clothes, being a team owner and all. I see you still rocking that goodwill look. Freak, what are you hanging around with this guy for? You know he's bad company, right? Got no choice. He helps me pay the bills. Plus, our mother loves him. Thank you all for coming by on such short notice. Well, so you know why we're here, right? Not really. You want to negotiate an extension for Freak, right? Well, since you mentioned it, your client is quickly becoming a liability for this organization. We've already put a plan in place that's finish, going to address Dom, all your concerns please, and issues. Let me finish. Thank you. Myself, the front office, and the coaches 
are not satisfied with the adjustments you've made in your life off the court. I personally warned you about the company you keep and were fed up with the late nights and showing up late to shoot arounds and the bad press and the incident at the nightclub. I told you Vic was gonna be your downfall and I was right. Something has to change now or we're not gonna need your services any longer. If this is about that Twitter stuff, Vic was playing. Okay, it was a joke. It's not about that. It's everything. But like I told you before, Vic is my best friend. I can't just cut him off. He's practically family. Not really. What exactly are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything, Dom. I'm saying it. Freak and his friend Vic are a problem for me and this organization. And I called you in here to figure out how we all together can fix this problem. And right now, I'm only seeing one solution. I agree that Freak may need to make some adjustments in his personal life off the court, but that's a learning process. We both know that. But this, this almost sounds like a threat. And Dom Pagnotti doesn't take too kindly to threats. Is this a threat? Call it what you will. We all know that Vic is a problem. The only person who doesn't seem to realize that is my brother. I'm sorry, bro, but enough is enough. I don't have a problem with what you're saying. I have a problem with how you're saying it. Now, I know we can come to some understanding without all the ultimatums or threats. Can we all come to a understanding, a compromise? No, no more compromises. I already warned Freak. I told you, don't be a hero. Cut that zero. It's cut Vic loose or we trade Freak. It's that simple. Fine, we'll go sign with another team. Good luck with that, Pagnotti. Because of Vic, Freak's reputation precedes him. No, because of Freak's God-given talent, his reputation precedes him. Everybody's been talking. Dom, you know how this works. This is not about you and me and our history. This is about your client. Help him. You're talking as if I'm invisible. You're talking around me, about me, but not to me. Vic has always had my back. And I've given this team everything I got. I practice hard. I play hard. Yeah, some nights I got it, some nights I don't. Some days I might even show up a little late to shoot arounds. But every time I'm on that car, I've always given my best. And I see how it is, though. I mean, us players got to be loyal to you, but you don't have to be loyal to us players. Try to give me some father and son talk, talking about how you love your players and how you look up for them. Come on, man. You trying to cut me off like you cut off Izzy. Don't you have people loyal to you no matter what? People you can't cut off? Well, that's me and Vic. Vic and me. Y'all insist, really. They could tell me stop hanging with Vic. What makes you think they won't tell me stop talking to you? Yeah, you remember in seventh grade, some guys were trying to jump me over some girl. Vic was the one to get some friends just to walk me home. And when they came, we went at it, but I wasn't alone. When I got my scholarship, it was Vic who put the word on the streets that nobody should mess with me because I had a future. Vic was protecting me. And sir, uh, I know, I know Vic is crazy. But before all the hype and the lights, media, fans, it was just me and Vic. He's always been there. I mean, if y'all don't like that, I don't know what to say. It hurts me to say this, but I see his point. What you don't understand is that the league doesn't have your back anymore. Not like they used to. They try, but it's too much. Social media has changed everything. And this last incident with Vic, that was the final straw. It was a joke. It wasn't funny. You know it wasn't a joke. Vic was defending you, stepping in to protect your honor by attacking another teammate like that? Talking about his manhood, his wife, his kids, his family, so you can be the big dog on the court? Some call for. And they all know your relationship with Vic, so they think it's coming from you. But that's the media blowing everything out of proportion as usual. It's not just the media. He's attacking other players, other teams. He's out of control. Vic just doesn't know how to behave. We got guys on our squad who don't want to be here because of that beef. There is no place for that kind of inappropriate behavior in this league. If you can't trust your teammates, who can you trust? What Vic is doing isn't right. He's bringing you down, and people can see it. I see how all the other players are looking at you. Oh, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. What, don't talk to him? Don't hang with him? You do what you gotta do, that's your call. But let me tell you this. You asked me if I had friends that I couldn't cut off? Yeah, I did for a while. Friends, 
business partners, girlfriends, wives, family that I thought I couldn't cut off. But I learned that sometimes you got to make the hard decisions. I mean, some of these people, they were just bad for me. They were bringing me down. They weren't making me better. They were good for the time that they were there. But I grew up, not in age and maturity, but in mind and spirit. I was ready for the next level in my life. And I'll be honest with you, I've been on the receiving end of that. I've been cut off before myself. And yeah, it hurt at the time. But looking back, they were doing the right thing for me. Just don't tell my ex-wife that, Pagnotti. So what's the next move? The next move is freaks. It always has been. Question is, is he ready and willing to do what needs to be done? This is messed up. You take a moment to think about it, but think long, think wrong. The snafu should have been cleaned up a long time ago. With or without you, we got games to win. Freak, you gotta handle your business. Okay, we've all said our piece. You might cut me off as your manager, but I will always be your sister. So when this is on you, I might not like it, but I will respect any decision you make. Yvette, please. CC, Yvette. Where's Dom? I had him call you. Why? I'm gonna cut right to the chase. My brother is deeply in love with you, and I'm ready to put our differences aside if you are. Really? On a strain. I'm, I'm with it. Team Freak. Team Freak. All right, so if you're gonna be down with the team, I gotta show you the dap. Oh, the dap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, like this. Oh. One, two, three, shoot, shoot. swish. Swish. Yeah. Again. Like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> One, two, three, swish. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like that. Cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to do it. Apparently, CC and Yvette have kissed made up. I mean, in a manner of speaking, not really. That would have been interesting. But hey, she's doing what she's got to do for her brother, and I, I respect that. And Vic, he's got he's got some, some dirt on, on us. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Do we keep him around to lose our NBA, NBA career, or do we cut him loose and potentially lose our NBA career and go to jail? I mean, because he's going to tell. He's going to tell. There's no way around that. It's interesting to see what's going to happen and potentially my last game of my NBA career. But that's going to be next time. That's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time.